All right, Illini basketball fans, this is a performance that we can be excited about because it's against a quality opponent. But next up is the true test, number one Purdue, that will truly reveal where we're at right now. Before I go further, let me say this. Terrence Shannon Jr. should be reinstated to the school and to this team because this team is showing that they have a real chance of making it past the second round of the tournament, something that Brad Underwood has been unable to do. And looking at the other teams in the nation, there's no reason why Illinois can't win a national championship. They have just as good a chance as anyone. So what a shame and a, and a, and a disgrace it would be if Terrence Shannon Jr. isn't allowed to participate in that. You put him back on the team and you have the other players play the same way they're playing, they'll beat anybody. So field goal percentage, 62%. Ha, huh, you'll take that every day. You're not going to lose shooting 62% from the floor. Three-point shooting, take a picture of it. 10 for 18, 55%. Not too many threes. Just the right amount. And you made 10 out of 18. I'm not joking with you. These stats almost have me teary-eyed. These are the stats I, I dream about. These are the stats that I hope for. And to see them before me, um, it, it's, it's almost enough to make you cry. Free throws, 16 out of 20, 80%. You would like that to be a little better. But for Illinois, it's good. They out-rebounded them, 35-24. Um, uh, assist, Illinois with 17 assists. Let's go to the turnovers, 10. Still want them to be in single digits for turnovers, but they're plus seven for Illinois. That is really good. Um, six fast bring points, didn't give up none. Points in the paint, 34-30. to 30. 13 fouls to their 20, largest lead 33. So go to the old box score here. Quincy, 14 and 10. Love it. Six out of nine from the floor, efficient. Bottle that up. If this is what he can do for us going forward, it's going to be great. Coleman, 13 and 5. Five for nine from the floor. Not as good as the last few games, but I'm going to say it again because I believe it. I believe Coleman Hawkins, if he wants to, can get 10 rebounds in the game. I truly believe that. The good thing about Coleman, he did at times go to the rim. It's new for him, so he's not finishing at the rim, but it's a start. Coleman continue to go to the rim. Through experience of doing it, you'll get more comfortable and you'll start making tough shots. So keep doing it, Coleman. Keep getting into that paint. Marcus, this is the second time this year that he's had a career type night. So 11 of 15 from the floor and only one three. That's it. Nine for 10 from the free throw line. Five rebounds, 32 points, and six assists. Oh, if we could bottle up this performance, we'll take it. Purdue's coming up. I want to see these kind of numbers against Purdue. Um, Ty Rogers coming in with six and four, three rebounds. Um, Luke Goody, six points, five rebounds. Some, you know, a couple tough offensive rebounds. He's trying. Offensively, one for four from three, two for five from the floor. Somehow, some way, I would like to see Luke Goody finding his way offensively. Um, you look at uh, Harmon without Terrence Shannon Jr. Harmon is getting his chance. And, you know, 20 points, 7 11 from the floor. He's taking advantage of the opportunity. Gibbs gets in. He may have, you know, three points, one assist, and one uh, re one rebound. So 
congratulations to Harmon for taking advantage of his opportunity in performing. Um, congratulations to Quincy for, you know, performing at a higher level. Dane tonight, two points, two rebounds. The thing with Dane, there's going to be times where he doesn't do anything. There's going to be times where he does something. For Dane, it's all about getting him engaged in the game. When he's open, get him the ball, get him scoring, get him rebounding. So you just never know with Dane. But, you know, Purdue's coming up. We're going to need him in that paint. So overall, very encouraging what I've seen tonight. You know, I see players playing together, playing to win. And they allow whoever's hot to be hot. I talked about that before. Last year, there were players on the team that would prevent other players from taking advantage of them being hot. We don't have those kind of players now. This is a selfless team. They actually play for each other. What a difference that is. And once again, it is a crying shame that Terrence Shannon Jr. is not on this team yet. But here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they're going to play without Terrence Shannon. Players are going to show what they can do with, with, with some minutes. And then Terrence Shannon will be reinstated. And then Harmon, finding his way, will be one of those players that come off the bench and drop 20. So with Terrence Shannon, when he comes back, and I hope he does, this doesn't mean that players can't perform. Quincy can still perform at this level. Um, Terrence is not going to prevent that. Harmon can come off the bench and drop 20. Terrence will not prevent that. Everyone can do what they can do with Terrence on the court. So last game, they put up numbers against a bad team. I wasn't going to talk about those numbers, meaningless. But tonight against a, you know, a pretty good Northwestern team. Um, they did good. So, but once again, the three-point shooting, especially low number of shots, good percentage, free throws, um, the assist to turnover ratio, you got to love it. You have to love it. And I cannot wait till they play Purdue. Obviously, Purdue is number one in the country. So what an opportunity this game is. Um, I really wish Terrence Shannon Jr. Um, was going to play. But I don't think he'll be playing in this game. All right. There it is. Purdue is favored by 77%. They're at home, no Terrence Shannon Jr. You know, it's not going to hurt my feelings that they believe Purdue's going to win. But Illinois has a chance here to shock the world. Five blocks also by the Illini and none for Northwestern. So, all right, Illini fans, when they start putting up performances like this against quality teams, then you can really get excited. But once again, Purdue will be the biggest challenge thus far, and that will be the truth revealed. So I cannot wait for that game. And before I leave, there's not a better female basketball player than Caitlin Clark for Iowa. With the game on the line against Michigan State, she takes a drop step back three from deep, it makes the game winning shot. I'm not into women's basketball, but that girl is special. Best female basketball player I have ever seen in my life. She can play. So, but anyway, Illini win. Next up, Purdue.